today I will be talking to you about First Touch uh, Technologies. Um, it's a health information system. Um, and this was actually created um, after ten, over 10 years I worked in a clinical laboratory and I saw errors that needed to be corrected. So I came up with this idea that it can be implemented in the daily operations in the health care market. So a medical office can use it, a laboratory can use it, uh, a hospital can use it. This is medical software, like I stated before, so this can be implemented into a medical office. So it's easy to install. After doing research, I saw that um, a lot of people were having difficulties um, installing their programs and actually working by them, they said it was just too much. So it had too many areas where they can get lost. So it's easy to install and it's user friendly. So it's very simple for the user to implement this data, to order tests on patients, to view test results. And also that this will help with the early care and diagnosis of a patient. So it's convenient. My name is Rick Watson and this is my project here. It's called Home Folk Honey. And one of the things I didn't understand when I started doing this class was that, you know, I just thought you had an idea and you just pursued with that idea. But I soon learned that what you really needed to do was to find the problem. The problem is, is, is raw organic honey. The honey you get at Walmart has been processed. All the good stuff's been boiled out of it. And so, <clears throat> and there's mom and pop stores around here that are competition owners. They, have raw honey that they do, but not all of it is organic, and they don't really have a distribution system that puts it to where the mass consumers can get their hands on it. I'm going to start with the one-stop shop. So when I mentioned, everything is there in this one area. So everything is working off of this one database. So it's convenient for the medical office. They can order their tests on a patient, view test results to care for a patient, the patient will be able to log in and view their test results, so they're keeping up with their health records. The laboratory is able to use it. After the doctor orders their test, it's going to send straight to the laboratory, so they'll be able to receive that test order and order your test. So they'll be able to actually run tests on the blood because they'll have your test orders right there in front of them. So that's why I mean it's a one-stop shop. So it's a three-part, one database system. Well, one of the things you have to do is figure out how big is the market and so what I did, my market's gonna be Walker, Jefferson, and Shelby counties. And the latest demographic, there's almost a million people, just, just less than a million people in those three counties alone. And the price point is around $20 a pound, 18 to $20 a pound, based on the latest information on raw organic honey. And my key partner is uh, Tatlasoft. Now they're my key partners because they are my developers at the moment. So they're the ones that I'm working with to help me create this. I don't have the background to create it myself, so I'm working with them and they work on this daily. Because it's a, a lot of them, it's a team working on it. Do you plan to sell the honey for them? Going market rate of 18 to $20 a pound? Uh, when I sell at like Pepper Place and the, the festivals, yes, I will sell it. it uh, at that rate. But the thing about it is, that's a pound of honey. A pound of honey is a lot of honey. Those little bears that you get is not, it's about, it's about an eighth of a pound. So, I mean, you can put eight of those, and those, selling those in little squeeze bottles that's got the little honey thing on it, I mean, that would be the, a great way to do it because you could sell them and make a lot of money, a lot more profit on doing those, those smaller bottles rather than getting some like a quart or larger. Okay, so revenue streams. So there will be a monthly service fee for this. Um, and this, like I said, it's just something that they can use. They'll be using it daily. And this will take care of the tech support and any other issues that can come about. So all of this will be in one base price for them. And this will also depend on the size of the office and how many physicians may be within that office. So of course, if there's more physicians, we'll just base the price upon that. So if it's one physician, it won't cost that much. Because like I said, it's going to be a lower cost because I'm trying to lower costs and make it more affordable. You know, if it weren't for bees, if bees weren't here, if they all died, we would all die not long after that because they are responsible for pollinating most of the things that we eat today. 
this was a great beginning for our business makers class and I really appreciate uh, uh, Rick and Marissa for staying with it because uh, we met a, a lot of hours uh, in this room uh, and I really appreciate them so, uh, so but that's it so thank you.